the initial days of life, you may enjoy baby's little, little cries. But from then on, it becomes a cause of concern and worry. You don't know why the baby is crying. They cry for everything. That's the only way of communication. When they feel cold, when they feel warm, they cry. Before and after passing urine and stool, they cry. Before passing because they don't know how to strain. So they cry, they pass and it becomes wet and soiled. So they want a change, they again cry. Loud sounds and bright light may disturb them, they may cry. They excessively cry and then suddenly you find insect bites over the body. Babies may have gastritis and colic. And when, in, uh, when on exclusive breastfeeding, the maternal diet is the one which causes these problems. Uh, some medicines, uh, prawns, jackfruit, crab are some of the foods that can cause uh, problems. There are hundreds of other things. But most of the time, you may find something, uh, some exotic food that a mother has taken has caused a uh, change in crying pattern in the baby. Babies are obligate nasal breathers. And because of that, what happens is whenever there's a nasal, nasal block, they are unable to breathe, they start crying. They close the mouth, again there's a nose block, they again start crying. Ear infection can cause excessive crying and at the peak of the cry, they suddenly stop when there is a perforation in the eardrum. There's a saying that boy baby should not be let to cry too much because it can cause torsion testis. It's the other way around. Torsion testis is one of the reasons for incessant cry and it, happen, it can happen in boy babies. It's not due to the cry, it's because of the torsion that the baby cries. Any illness, any sickness, they cry. But there's a misinterpretation in our place. Everyone attributes every cry to hunger, which is a huge mistake. Because whenever you interpret it as hunger, you tend to feed the baby and you are treating a wrong disease where the real problem is still existing. If you don't find a reason for the baby's cry, try to search for it. Don't go by the notion that it's always hunger. If you can't find a reason, always try to get a medical help. If it is hunger, there will be other clues like inadequate weight gain, inadequate urine output, inadequate sleep in between. So every cry is not hunger. Search for a reason. If you don't find any, get medical help and find the reason and then go for the solution. Thank you.